Now, here are my comfortable saddle recommendations that work for most people. Your mileage may vary, ranging from the least expensive to the most expensive. First up on the list at $30 is the Charge Spoon. It's 140 millimeters wide, which is narrower and will be better for aggressive riding. With that said, it's still on the wider end of race saddles, making it more comfortable. It has a flat shape with rounded edges, which make it comfortable for most people, assuming you're not somebody with super muscular thighs or somebody with super scrawny thighs. And it has a narrow nose, so it won't rub your thighs while you're pedaling. And it also checks off the third important feature to look for on the list. It's not too squishy. And those three things about it make it a comfortable saddle for a lot of people. And it doesn't hurt that it looks good and comes in a few different colors too. I've never ridden one myself, but you can check out all of the glowing reviews about the Charge Spoon at the Amazon link in the description. Coming in at $60 to $80 is the Sella Italia Turbo. Like the Charge Spoon, it's also 140 millimeters, not too squishy, and has a narrow enough nose where it doesn't rub your thighs when you're pedaling. What makes it different than the Charge Spoon Spoon, though is that it has a rounder profile making it better for people with really bulky thighs. I used to ride the 80s version of the Sella Italia Turbo and I quite liked it for short to medium distance rides. Anything over 60 miles I found that it became painful. Again, your mileage may vary. Now I've got to mention my favorite title of all time on this list and that is the Brooks C17 Cambium at around $100. The C17 Cambium measures in at 162 millimeters wide, which is part of the reason it has been the most comfortable saddle for me. What makes the Cambium unique though is that it's made out of vulcanized rubber instead of plastic that most saddles are made of, meaning that the rubber will bend and flex to gently hammock your buttocks and your Gooch. It's just as comfortable and I would argue that it's even more comfortable than a leather brook saddle. It's also cheaper, less maintenance, doesn't take any time to break in. This is the best saddle that I've ever used and you can check out my two year review of this saddle at the end of this video. Saddles are the most personal components on the bike, but an overwhelming amount of people have said that the Cambium has been the most comfortable saddle that they have used. I've done century rides in jeans on this saddle, and by the end of them, my butt was the only body part that wasn't sore. Lastly, before you go out and try a bunch of different saddles, here are a few considerations. First, go in knowing that you're going to have to try out a bunch of different saddles before you find one that you really click with. Again, saddles are the most personal component on the bike. It's influenced a lot by your riding style, your ride position, your personal physique, and your tolerances for comfort, a whole bunch of other factors. What may be right for me might not be right for you, but do know that there is a saddle out there that will help you enjoy riding your bike more.